Hello my fellow lifeforms and welcome back. In this video series we are creating 3D paper models of the platonic solids. They are, this is a great fun exercise you can do to familiarize yourself with these shapes and also the patterns used to create them. And it's just also a super fun thing to get down to have these awesome little models on your desk or have a fun project to do with your kids. So in our last video we created the cube. You can find the link for that in the description down below. In this one we will be tackling the tetrahedron, this elegant four-sided equilateral triangle shape right here. So without further ado, let's get right on into this. So just like before, we're going to be using the same tools, the compass square, paper obviously, whatever pencil or mechanical pencil you have, a way of cutting out your paper. I'm going to be using my X-Acto knife and you're going to need some kind of glue. So let's do it. Here we go. So first thing I'm going to do is create the seed of life, which is a super simple shape. It's one of the first shapes you're going to get familiar with when working in sacred geometry. Now I'm going to make mine uh, the same size as this one right here. So I'm going to make my compass the, about the same length as the side of this guy right here. So that should be close enough, I believe. So... We're going to start with the center circle. Try to get that in the center of the page as best as you can. And create your circle. And then we're going to be placing the needle of your compass where that circle meets the line. And you're going to draw another circle. And then where that circle meets the first circle, you're going to place your needle. And you're going to continue this pattern all the way around until you have seven circles. So from the seed of life, there are equilaterals created throughout this pattern. And you can begin to see them when you connect the petal leaves to one another. So I'm going to go from one side to the other, creating this X pattern through the center. And then I'm going to connect each petal adjacent to one another, the tips together like so. And you'll begin to see all the triangles begin to form. Actually, let's put this one way out here. Just like that. So I could be a little bit more accurate, but we're just burning through it for the sake of this video. So now the triangles we're going to be using, because we're going to need five triangles, because one of the triangles is going to act as a foundation behind here. This is actually, there's two pieces here. So you have one, two, three, four, and then five behind there. So. The pattern you're going to want to have looks like this. You're going to pick out this large equilateral triangle here. Okay. Let's do this center here so you can see it. And then we're going to add one more out here. And I'm also going to be cutting out these, uh, what I'm going to call flaps. This one actually doesn't need it. You just need to do it on the center one here. So I'm going to cut these out too. And we're going to use those to glue all this together. So I'm going to start to cut this guy out. Put my cutting board underneath here. Grab my X-Acto knife and cut this guy out. And as before, the precision of the pedals doesn't matter quite as much. Just as long as you make sure you get those corners as accurate as you can. So that's the shape and pattern we're going to be working with now. And I'm going to grab my 
ruler here and use this to fold these pedals inward. We're going to do that with all of them. Now we're going to go through and actually fold each triangle inward. And I'm not going to put a very heavy crease on these with my ruler, like I did with the pedals or flaps, whichever term you would prefer. Like so. Very good. So now, These pedals are all going to fold into one another. I'm actually going to remove this pedal here. Now that I'm looking at this, we don't need this one. So let me just cut that off with my scissors here. Because that guy, this flap here, will go behind that triangle. And we can then fold this flap behind it like that. And this kind of actually it's not exactly wanting to fold very well right there. So I'm going to actually trim a little bit off of the bottom of this guy. See how well that sits now. That's better. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to use my hot glue gun here. It should be nice and warm and ready to go for me. I'm just going to put this on the front face of this triangle here. And put him behind this triangle. Oop, get my finger in it. Press that until it cools, like that. Now I'm going to do it to these four flaps, kind of make them prop up a little bit. Make sure put a little bit more right there in that corner. Boy, I love hot glue so much. It cools rapidly, adheres to practically anything, and it's just a, such an awesome tool. Alright, so we're going to glue with these flaps together now. Press them into each other. Clean up whatever glue comes out. And there you have it, your 3D paper model of the tetrahedron, which is an awesome, elegant shape, which represents fire. The previous video, we did the cube, which represents the earth. The next one we're going to be doing is the octahedron, which is this eight-sided diamond or double pyramid shape, which represents air, which is very similar. The construction is very similar to the uh, tetrahedron, but we're just going to be adding a few more triangles to give it this diamond shape. So stick around for that video and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Later.